Hey everyone, this is Siddharth here, your rustic mystic, and I'm back with another JFTNA that is just for today, Narcotic Anonymous and Alcoholic Anonymous as well. And please like and subscribe and share my videos so that others can also benefit from this just for today from ANNA. Now, uh, today's thought is October 2nd, Keeping Faith. We grasp the limitless strength provided for us through our daily prayer and surrender as long as we keep faith and renew it. We need to keep faith and keep working on it. This is from basic text, page 46. Uh, let's see what they've written over here. There are two parts of recovery, getting clean and staying clean. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are two things, getting clean and staying clean. Getting clean is easier, relatively easier, because you need to do it just once. But staying clean is something that you need to do on a daily basis. Renew your faith on a daily basis. Renewing the faith requires motivation, and that is a little difficult for us. Let us see what they write. Getting clean is comparatively easy because we only have to do it once. Staying clean is more difficult, requiring attention every day of our lives, yet both draw the same power from faith. Getting clean also requires to have faith on something because we've lost faith on ourselves. We turn our will and faith towards God and hope for His, for his strength towards us. We got clean on faith. We admitted that addiction was more powerful than we were. We stopped trying to fight it on our own. We turned the battle over to the greater power than ourselves. And the higher power got us clean. So we just went to this, you know, this huge thought of God that we have in our mind. And we said that, look here, I don't have the power to leave this. I don't have the strength to fight this battle. Will you be able to help me with that? And this guy, this God that we have, this higher power that we have, what he does is he yanks us out of our addiction. Then what happens? What happens is we stay clean each day the same way on faith because we have given everything of us. We were on rock bottom. We have given it to God, the higher power. He is my friend. He is my colleague. He is my family member. He is everything to me. I have given all that I have to him. Just for today we surrender. Life may be too big for us to tackle on our own. Life is a tons of days and minutes and seconds, and for an addict, each second comes. When it is, we seek our greater power greater than ourselves. We pray, asking a higher power for direction and strength to follow it. By exercising and renewing our faith on a daily basis, we tap the resources we need to live clean, full lives. We need resources, we need motivation. Where do we draw that from? The higher power gives it to us. Every day, the person who stays in the path of recovery sees miracles happen and then goes back to a meeting, let's say AA or NA, to share his uh, strengths, weaknesses, and uh, gets more strength from the meeting itself. Now, the last part over here says that the same holds true for emotional pain. How would we have known that our life had become unmanageable if we hadn't been in pain? Yes, of course. I mean, finally, we have to see that, that we have lost everything and we are emotionally down. Then only we will understand that we are in the rock bottom. Like physical pain, like supposing somebody is, you're walking down the road and each time you're taking this route, you are falling in a ditch. Each time you do it, no matter how careful you are, you're falling down. And you're bruising yourself here, you're bruising yourself there. Now then what will you do? You will shift the path. You will not take that path because no matter what hail comes storm, you are bruising yourself if you are going through this path. So that's where you're changing the path. What happens is that if you do not change your path, your unmanageability would increase and your addiction will finally kill you. Because we know that addiction is a progressive disease and it can either bring you to an institution or maybe prison or death. 
just for today. Faith got me clean. Faith will keep me clean. Today I will keep faith with my higher power. I will renew my surrender and pray for knowledge and strength. We always tell our people, our brothers and sisters to pray, pray, pray to renew your surrender, to renew your knowledge, to renew your strength and be happy and be clean. So amen to that and keep coming back. It works if you work it. Thank you so much.